but check this out. This is the air filter. Holy cow. This has probably been in there for at least a year. It is literally like cakes with dust and dirt. This is well overdue to be replaced. Hey, what's up guys? It's Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. All right, hey, today we got another fun video coming at you guys. Today, we're gonna be doing a maintenance video. It's been a little while since I've actually done one of these on our channel. Uh, I'm really excited about helping you guys out, especially if you're just getting started in business or, you know what, if you picked up some new equipment over the spring time frame and you gotta do some routine maintenance on it, let me go through trimmers, blowers, edgers, two-stroke equipment, our lawnmowers. Let me just give you guys the lay of the land. We'll help you out with some maintenance tips. All right, let's check it out. Make, 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 make the ground shake. All right guys, so location, location. I am actually inside my enclosed trailer right now. We're gonna be talking a little bit about blowers, trimmers, and then as you guys can see all the way behind me here, we've got the mower out there that we're gonna be doing some maintenance on. And you know what I haven't done in a while? Was a maintenance tips video. In fact, I did one about, I'd say three years ago now, when I first got started on YouTube, I did a blower maintenance video, and it actually did surprisingly well in terms of views, considering that I had about 80 subscribers back in the day, uh, which is just crazy how things have evolved, right? But you know what? We haven't really done any maintenance videos over the last 24 months. And you know what? I think it's really uh, relevant, really practical as we go into spring for all of us to do routine maintenance on our equipment. Now, let's just jump into it. When you're talking about your basic handheld equipment or even your mowers, there's usually three or four different categories of routine maintenance you gotta do, right? There's your oil filters, your air filters, your fuel filters, and then your spark plugs. And of course, for the lawnmowers, sometimes we gotta change out the blades, and we also gotta make sure that all of our belts are looking good. Without further ado, I'm just gonna rip through this stuff. I don't want this to be a super lengthy video for you guys, but you know what? I did wanna make sure that we covered this in depth. Now, again, every piece of equipment is a little bit different, so you know, make sure you're checking the spec sheet, make sure you're checking what's uh, recommended for your specific unit, for your piece of equipment. Um, if you don't know, always refer to the manuals or that, company's, uh, that product's company's website where they can get you all the information in the manual. So let's do this first. I wanna show you guys how we do it with our blowers. Now again, we have the same three or four different categories. We have our air filter, we have our fuel filter, and we have our spark plug. Now, super basic, I know, but if you're just getting started in business, maybe you don't know all this, so let's go through the ringer. We have our pre-filter, we always wanna make sure we're changing this, and generally speaking, you're gonna be changing this out once a year. Now as you can see, Holy cow, this blower is actually surprisingly dirty. Uh, I haven't had this for more than a season, probably six months, and holy cow, that's actually really bad. Uh, that's actually not the worst I've seen it. So we're gonna be changing the pre-filter, right? Then this is the actual air filter. We're gonna be changing this out, a little dusty. Some people actually take compressed air and just blow this all out. Me personally, for $20, it's a good investment for a new filter. Now, to change out a spark plug on a two-stroke piece of equipment is actually fairly simple. However, pretty much all the uh, spark plugs that I use for all this equipment are on a national back order. So, I do apologize, I can't show you that on this video. Now, although I can't change it out personally, I will show you guys, at least so you know what you're looking at, what to do. This right here is where the spark plug is located, at least on this blower. You will use our spark plug removal tool to pop that out, drop a new one in. Of course, don't let your fingers touch uh, any parts of the internals of that spark plug. You don't wanna get uh, any oil or grease on it, it's very important. And then we're gonna put our cap back on. If you're talking about routine maintenance for all your two-stroke uh, piece of equipment, what I would suggest is changing all that stuff out at least once a year, including the spark plug. So once the national back order is done, I guess we'll uh, make sure we change it out, right? Uh, let me show you guys the air filters over here so you guys know what we're looking at. Now this isn't like staged up or set up. This just happens to be me ripping through all the stuff that Craftsman did send us. We'll get into that all later, I guess. This right here is our main filter. This right here is our pre-filter. And let's go install these really quick. By the way, I'm kind of curious how this one looks too, right? Let's see what this looks like. I did buy two of each. This is as real as it gets. Oh, that's actually not too bad. That's actually not bad at all. All right, we're gonna leave that guy in there for now. That's our pre-filter. This one is the main air filter. Actually, that one is not bad. This might be the 8550. All right, this was a newer backpack blower sent to us. Only has probably about two months on it, so really no big deal. So we'll close this back up. Make sure we tighten up our screws. We'll get to that in a minute. 
Let's get back over here. All right, now as you guys can see, it's a little dirty on this one, both on the edges. I don't know, it's not really a shadow. It's actually really dirty. So I'm gonna replace this guy here. Let's drop that. No need that one. We got the new one. And we're going to put this in like so. Really easy, really simple stuff, guys. Hopefully you guys really appreciate this kind of stuff. Nobody ever made videos like this when I was getting started in business or on YouTube. So if you guys appreciate it, shoot a big thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Let's throw this back on top. I'll screw this in and we should be pretty much good to go on the air filter part of this blower. By the way, look at this pre-filter. Is that nasty or what? Uh, I don't have a before and after, but look, it should look like this. Pure white, it's like black. Uh, it's pretty nasty. This is why you change your oil filters. All right, so like I said earlier, we got our oil filter, our air filter, fuel filter, and then spark plug, right? Can't do the spark plug, so relax. All right, so hopefully you guys enjoy this part so far. Now, we got the air filter all changed out. The next part is the fuel filter. Now, the fuel filter, uh, it's kind of funny. Most people forget about it because it's generally not accessible or not visible. So you always kind of uh, just oversight. You don't really think about it, so it always goes unchanged. But it's very important, especially all the dirt, the sediment, all the other um, just debris and garbage and junk that gets into the gas tank. Don't want to be sucking that up, putting it in our engines, right? So we want to make sure that we're changing the fuel filter out at least once a year as well. Now, this is actually a tool of the trade, a tip of the, a trick of the trade? Is that what they say, a trick of the trade, uh, that I have learned, and I will show you guys this really quick, and you can always pay this one forward. So if this one helps you guys out, share with a lawn buddy, okay? Now, if we wanna get this fuel filter out of the container, obviously we can't use like needle nose pliers or whatever, so we gotta fish it out. Now, one thing that I have learned over the years, and gosh, I don't even know where I learned this, but basically, you can stick this inside the reservoir and you can loop it around and pull that fuel filter out. As you guys can see, this one is pretty gunked up for what it was. We're gonna leave this one right here, just for a quick second here. Put our handy dandy little tool over here. This right here is our new fuel filter. As you guys can see, it is sparkling white. Let's go install this into the blower. Now, one thing I like to say, and I might have to put my hands down for this for just a quick second, is see this little ring, this little uh, clasp? We wanna make sure that as we're moving it back, we want to make sure that we're also reinstalling it to clamp onto that neck of the fuel filter. So, very important, don't lose this, and make sure that you always reattach it when we uh, put the new filter back on. All right, now as you guys can see, this fuel filter is sparkling white. Like, it looks really clean. Here's a little before and after. You guys can definitely tell the difference here. It's kind of crazy. So we'll put that there. Let's go install our new fuel filter. There we go. And then, of course, make sure that clasp is all the way on on the elbow or the neck of this uh, fuel filter. And then we will just feed it right back in there. All right, you're pretty much good to go for the fuel filter. Just make sure that's in there. You got your cap. Pop that back on. And that is how you guys change a fuel filter. Let me show you this one more time to you guys so you can see, this is not just uh, the fuel running through here. This is uh, pretty grody, pretty nasty. So anyway, this is why you wanna change this out at least once a year. Sweet. All right, so like I said, with most two stroke equipment, you got your fuel filter, your air filter, you don't have an oil filter, spark plug, right? Fuel filter, air filter, and our spark plug. Now, uh, what else we got? Uh, for the regular four stroke uh, equipment, and of course the lawnmower, we wanna also make sure we're changing the oil. But before we run over there, let me show you guys the exact same thing on the trimmers, just so you guys kinda know what you're looking at. Uh, pick your brand, they're all pretty much identical, but we wanna make sure we're changing those three key components on our two stroke equipment. So, really quick here, a lot of you guys know that we run these different echo trimmers here. I'm not gonna show you guys a complete change out here. This trimmer on top is new. This one right here is our backup. But let me just show you guys what you're doing here with the filters so you kind of understand how we're changing those three components out as well. A lot of trimmers will have a pre-filter. You can actually take this yellow piece out. It's a whole other square that's right in here, sort of like this cartridge, and replace the pre-filter. Same thing here, we wanna make sure that we're putting the other filter back on top, this is your main air filter. And as you guys would imagine, we're going to place it back on like so. All right, we're gonna tighten it up. See if I'm doing it the right way, probably not. And we're good to go. Same thing, we got the second screw down here. 
I'll tighten this up. I will say this, if you guys wanna see an in-depth maintenance video on the 2620, I'll make sure to leave that video at the end because I did do a full uh, maintenance with it with the uh, Echo You Can maintenance kit. So if you wanna check that out, make sure you check out the link in the description down below. I know a lot of you guys have been running the Echo 2620 ever since they came out about two and a half years ago. So check that out, link in the description. Hopefully that'll be another good resource for you guys. All right, now, that being said, let me go show you guys how to do maintenance on a lawnmower. Very similar concept. A couple extra things though, remember? We gotta change the oil and we also gotta make sure that we're changing out any belts that might have dry rotted over the winter or just honestly showing some wear and tear and they're just due to be replaced, right? Of course, one other thing that I absolutely neglected to talk about was the fact that we gotta change our lawnmower blades. Now, they did send us the new Craftsman Impact. I'm not just plugging it and plug it. I totally forgot. Of course, we got to change out our lawnmower blades. Now, one question that I get a lot that I wanted to answer on an FAQ video, but we might as well just do it right here, is do you guys sharpen this blade uh, with this protective coating or film on it? Do you have to? The answer is no. This blade is completely fine. You do not have to pre-sharpen your blades. So this protective uh, coating will wear off and this blade is completely fine just the way it is. So. We're gonna show you guys really quick how to change some lawnmower blades. We're gonna use the Craftsman Impact. Let me show you guys how to do that really quick. In case you don't know, very simple, but let's check it out right now. Now, here's one thing I wanted to tell you guys in case you don't know this and you're just getting into the business possibly, is that impact uh, sockets and regular sockets are not the same. You're gonna see a lot of impact sockets are made out of this black tip, this black color. It's probably a different type of metal, of course, uh, but they're not the same. So don't use regular sockets, especially if you're changing out lawnmower blades. Number two, impact guns. You can get a little overzealous and a little uh, crazy with the power available in a lot of impact guns today. I think this Craftsman one is rated at like 350 or 450 uh, nut busting torque, which is probably a little bit more than you need for this. You probably only need 125 pounds of uh, force, if I'm not mistaken. This one doesn't have the option to uh, change its power settings that I can see. So what I'm gonna do is tighten it up, but for just a quick second. You don't want to be zipping it in there for uh, speed and then once it is tightening up, you don't want to be holding down that trigger, that hammer to keep knocking that bolt. So never strip out any of that stuff uh, on the spindle. That'll be a, probably a costly repair for you. So anyway, uh, impact guns, definitely a game changer. We do happen to have this Craftsman one. So again, thank you to those guys for sending it out. Uh, but let's go change the lawnmower blades. By the way, if you don't have an impact for a couple hundred bucks, you're more than welcome to use wrenches, bust the knuckles. Lord knows that I did that for about 11 years. So anyway, let me change the lawnmower blades. We'll show you the uh, air filter, the oil filter, and we'll pretty much wrap this guy up, all right? All right, guys, let's check it out underneath the mower deck. We have our Craftsman Impact. Make sure you're on reverse. Line it up and let's let her rip. All right. I always like to hand loosen and hand tighten it just to get it started. And here we go with the lawnmower blade. All right. Now, as you guys can see, we had some Oregon lawnmower blades on here from the fall. These are definitely rough and due for a sharpening. Now, we're doing a lot of leaf cleanup, so that's very expected. Very doled out blades. So, as you can imagine, once we're ready for the regular mowing season, we're gonna throw these regular high lift lawnmower blades back on the mower. If you're a homeowner, you don't have to switch back and forth to two different blades. Just your regular high lift blade will be plenty fine, especially if you're mulching leaves with a you know 21 inch lawnmower or maybe a uh, smaller 36 or 42 inch wide uh, zero turn mower. So regular high lift blades are totally fine. That's what I would suggest. But if you're a pro, maybe you wanna invest into some gator blades that'll help mulch the leaves a little bit better. For for me personally, I'm just gonna leave those mulching blades on there since we're gonna be doing our spring cleanups anyway. One thing I was gonna recommend is that while you're underneath the deck, little pro tip, scrape out your mower deck. If you're a homeowner, you probably only have to do it once or twice a year, but if you're a contractor, we already know that we're doing that probably once a day, right? But while you're underneath there changing out lawnmower blades, always a great time to make sure that you don't have any grass clumped up underneath. That'll definitely affect your airflow, how much the grass gets sucked up or stands up, and then that's what's also going to give you that beautiful even cut all the way across the property. All right, now up next, as you guys can already imagine, we've got the same basics with the zero turn mower. Air filter, fuel filter, uh, oil filter, and spark plugs. Now, I did change the spark plugs last fall. I do know that, so we're not doing that on the uh, zero turn. A little harder to reach. Sometimes you can have the dealer do that. But check this out. This is the air filter. Holy cow. This has probably been in there for at least a year. I don't know if I changed this last spring, but look at that. It is literally like caked 
with dust and dirt. This is well overdue to be replaced. In fact, look at the new one, look at the old one. <laughs> I'm actually kind of embarrassed. That's actually pretty rough. So anyway, change the air filter. This is a definite, uh, holy cow, I'm a little embarrassed, but hey, that's why we're doing this video, right? And ba -da. All right. Hey, while we're here, a lot of you guys saw on Instagram the new Bulldog Jack. We bought this with our own money. This is not sponsored. Uh, a little bit more than 200 bucks, but check this out. A little zero turn lawnmower jack. This metal uh, piece right here mounts underneath. It actually loops from this side, and there's two bolts right here. One pin right here. The bottom is actually flexible, and as you would imagine, just goes down and up with a twist. Super simple. We'll make sure that we put our air filter cap back on. By the way, this one has instructions here. It says top and bottom. Not sure if you guys can read that. Anyway, so our air filter is all good. We're changing out our lawnmower blades. Spark plugs are already done. And then last but not least is the oil change, right? Now, you guys have already seen me do quite a few oil changes, so I'm actually not gonna do it on this one right now in the video. But here's what you got to do, super simple, and I'll definitely leave a link in the description if you guys want to see us, we do a change uh, of oil on the Z. But right here is our drain plug. We want to make sure that we're just loosening that up. As we do, we're going to drain all the oil. What I like to do is put it in a milk jug. Super simple, nothing crazy, a little $2 milk jug. And I actually exchange this or turn it into a local oil chain shop. I just give it to them. They're more than willing to take this off our hands. We all know that they resell it anyway, so it's really no big deal. But a couple tips that I can give you guys with oil changes is number one, make sure you're using the right oil for your engine. Every engine is different. It's not just straight 30 weight. It's not just straight 50 weight. Every engine is different. So for me, I've got the Kohler Big Block. We use the 20W50. It's a special oil for this engine. Now, one more tip I wanna give you guys regarding oil changes. Again, you've seen this on my channel before, is that when we put on the new oil filter, we always wanna write down with a permanent marker how many hours are on the unit at the time. So this one right here, you guys can see is 875, at least with this hour meter. Uh, I have 450 hours on my old hour meter that uh, aired out, so we had to replace it. So when I change out this oil filter, I wanna write the new hours on this top with a permanent marker so I know when to change it next. So if it's 875 on the hour meter right now, it might say 975. Usually we change ours out about every 100 hours. Again, every manufacturer is different, so make sure you check with your engine about the intervals when you're supposed to change the oil. Usually for the big zero turn mowers, the Kawasaki's, the Kohler engine, it's about every 50 to 100 hours. For me, I actually kind of lean more towards the conservative side. I usually change mine out about every 50 to 75. If it's in the summer, I might let it go to 100. Uh, but if it's in the spring or the fall, usually I do it every 50 just because we're putting a lot of stress on the mower uh, with those wet grass and the wet mowing conditions. So I usually change mine out about every 50 to 75. But in the summer, when we just mow and go, probably about every 100 hours. So guys, we talked about changing the oil filter, the air filter, the fuel filter, the spark plugs, pretty much on every piece of equipment, you wanna do that at least once a year. By the way, don't neglect the snow blowers. You gotta show those things some TLC as well. So make sure you uh, stabilize those and do whatever you gotta do. Hey, what's up guys? <laughs> as soon as I start the video, the train from a mile away blows its horn. This is real life, how I shoot videos. <laughs> no controlled environments, unreal. All right. All right. But if you're a pro, you might want to invest. For me personally, just because we're about to start, just because we're gonna. It's also going to give you that beautiful, even cut all the way across the property. If you guys can believe it, check this out. We got the air filter, we're gonna be.